Questions and comments? Can say commenter, the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I want to thank my colleague for his speech, uh, and I appreciate his efforts to stand up for Albertans and jobs. I share that as much as uh, he may not agree in terms of my perspective. Uh, I have family there, our brothers and sisters there. We want them to thrive and do well. He touched on a few things. He touched on this project, uh, well, he certainly touched on, touched on Kinder Morgan and this project replacing foreign oil. It's my understanding, Mr. Speaker, that this oil is for export. It won't be replacing any foreign oil or dirty oil, if you want to call it that. In fact, we haven't heard and we haven't had a good, robust conversation, frankly, Mr. Speaker, about a refinery, about adding value added and creating more jobs in Canada, more energy security in Canada while we fund transition like Norway did. And, and we haven't had a conversation about how we've been responsible or not. Because when we look to Norway, they've got a trillion dollars in their prosperity fund. We look to Alberta, they have $11 billion. So maybe the member who's from Alberta can explain how that gap is happening and how the leadership of Norway is funding transition, a healthy economy and protection of the environment at the same time as funding oil extraction. Honourable Member for uh, Red Deer Mountain View. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the, the question. Um, it does grate me somewhat when I hear anybody talk about dirty oil coming from, uh, from Canada. Um, you know, it is so frustrating to, to hear that, that that rhetoric is, is part of the, the frustration that uh, the reasons why we have a BC government tag teaming with the Quebec government to, uh, to, to slow down Energy East and then the reverse happening. You know, I mean, that's the kind of issues that I, that I see. And of course, when he speaks about exporting and getting uh, these will be offered, this will be oil that will go onto the world market. Well, that's the point, is to get it onto the world market, to get world prices for, for these products. Because what we're doing right now is we are captive to the U.S. market, is that we're taking a terrible discount on every bit of oil that we sell. And these are the sorts of things that I believe that we have to be so concerned about. And, and there's an article by a, a guy from Seattle says, thank you, BC, for the oil discount. You know, thanks to the citizen BC who seem to once again have blocked an oil pipeline to the coast. Those living, of us living south of the border will continue to enjoy importing your oil at substantial discounts while exporting our oil from Gulf ports at world market prices. Your gift to us is around $100 million per day Canadian. It's greatly appreciated. That's what we have to stop. Questions and comments? The Honourable